Hello again and welcome to my Amazon favorites video. So I am obsessed with watching hauls of things that people get and oftentimes in my earlier viewing days I would just buy things that I never ended up using because it just looked really cool and honestly people seem to get a lot of use out of them. Since then I've definitely learned to curb my shopping tendencies a, a little bit and I have focused down in this Amazon favorites haul just the top things that I actually feel like I use on a pretty regular basis and things that I think you could get a lot of actual good use out of as well. I do want to put a little just kind of tip on here that I like to do and I have created my own Amazon list and every time that I watch like an Amazon favorites video or a product empties video and I see things that I really am interested in trying but maybe I don't have the money at that moment or I just don't <laughs> want to keep buying things, I will add it to my list and then come back either the next day or the next paycheck and see if it's something that I still really want. My list is super long as I will put up here so that you can see that it's, it's, I got a lot of stuff that is on my wish list. <laughs> But this is a really great way for me to remember the things that seemed really useful at the time and then I can come back to it later if I still think that it's useful. It's a way to watch and enjoy hauls and like feel that I'm getting something out of it without actually purchasing things. So I do highly recommend that you guys maybe start your own Amazon list if some of these things sound like good things that you want but you're just not sure if they're things that you'll use in this exact moment. I also create lists for the people in my life that I really care about and whenever they mention something throughout the entire year I will either go into the notes section on my phone and add it to their list or I will go on Amazon right then and there and I will save something to that list then every year when like their birthday comes around or Christmas it's a really easy way for me to just already have things there and surprise them with things that I know that they like okay so now that I have all of that out of the way let's get into the good stuff this is going to be a mixture of beauty things lifestyle style things, clothing, all of these things you can get off Amazon. I didn't find all of these originally on Amazon, but you can purchase them all on Amazon. Okay, so first up, I learned about these from a YouTuber whose name is Hope Scope. She does a lot of gym wear and legging reviews, and these are the colorful koala, and oh my god, they, they smell like these out of my laundry. Colorful koala leggings. I'm addicted to these. I, I know that sounds like a really weird thing to say, but the nice thing about these is like, listen, okay, I got thick thighs. <laughs> and a lot of the times, any type of pattern that's small can really distort on my body. So I like these because no matter how much I stretch it, the pattern doesn't distort. And that's huge for me. I also really like it because there's pockets and I love pockets. I live in the city so when I go to the gym a lot of the times I don't want to carry around a huge bag with me so I use the pockets to put my Charlie card in, I live in Boston, or my keys or something like that so that I don't have to carry them around so pockets are essential for me. And they're squat proof and they're comfortable and they have not a high compression but I do feel like they just make my legs look smoother. So I I really like these. They come in a lot of different colors and patterns and obviously everything that I talk about is going to be linked below. Okay, so moving on. I missed in case you were wondering. This isn't a clothing item, but it's also fabric, so I just felt like it was a natural progression. This is the makeup eraser. I originally got the makeup eraser in my FabFitFun box and I loved it so much I went out and I bought another one. Now they come in pink and black. This one's used, so like I'm not going to open it up for you because that's gross, but they come in in these sort of oblong <laughs> oval shapes and they come with two different sides and the texture is slightly different. One side is a little bit shorter of a hair and the other side is a little bit longer and softer so they're good for a little bit of exfoliation and makeup removal. Honestly, uh, I feel like both sides take your makeup off really well. The theory behind the makeup eraser is that you shouldn't have to use any type of cleanser or makeup remover with it. It should just do it all on its own. 
I've tried it that way before and I will say it takes off a really good amount of your makeup and I do think that in a pinch you could absolutely use this to take off all of your makeup or if you just naturally wear a little bit less makeup this is a really great tool to help get everything off it doesn't feel rough by any means but it does get all of that makeup off personally I wear a lot of makeup so I do like to pair this with my face wash or with my cleansing balm and it gets literally everything off like by the time i get to my toner at the end of the night whereas before using this i would always come up with just like the residue of what whatever cleanser or balm i was using maybe didn't get off at the time i, I have nothing left on the toner wipe this gets everything especially in combination with my skincare routine but again I think that if you don't wear a lot, this could easily take it off without. Personally, I prefer the black color because you really can't see if anything stains. Um, it does wash pretty well. I've used this a lot with a lot of mascara, but you can still see in there where, this is a clean one, but you can still see some of like the mascara that's left behind on this one. If you don't really care about that, then go for it. Uh, but I do like the black for that reason just a little bit better. And they also say that you can use these, I think it was like three to four times before having to wash it, which you can always just rub a little bit of your face wash on it and then rinse it out and hang it to dry before the next time using it. I have not noticed by doing that that I get any more breakouts um, and that it, it doesn't do anything bad to my skin. My skin still feels and gets just as clean, even though I'm not washing it between every single use and there's a lot of real estate on this so I don't find either that I use the entire thing every time that I wash my face with it. Next up are these Victorum, I think I'm saying that right, leg and hip circle booty bands. I have seen a lot of different ones out there and I used to use these ones at the gym that were like, you know, all know like that rubber that rolls right up, especially if you got like thighs and I got like thighs and they just didn't really work very well for me. So I have really, really liked using these. They're really thick good quality they're not super expensive and three come in a pack so this is the biggest one that has the least amount of resistance and then it comes with two more colors and each one gets progressively a little bit smaller so we have this one and then a pink one i really love these they come in a couple of different color groupings so obviously i'll link it below and you can take a look but these are really good quality and even though they don't have um any grips on the insides i don't find that there's any trouble at all with these slipping or rolling up i mean i just feel like these have really enhanced any workout i do and they're really great for working out at home which a lot of us are doing right now so if you're looking for a really easy way to amp up even just a normal workout routine at home or you're looking for something simple and compact to do i really recommend these bands they're super freaking good next up i have some headphones these are wireless headphones and i had had the beats headphones for a long time and they kept breaking like every three months without fail and the, i will say beats customer service was really good and they kept sending me new ones but the fact is they kept freaking breaking so i bought these super cheap on amazon and you just turn it on with the little button on the side and it, it pairs perfectly with your phone i'm not gonna tell you that the sound quality is that of like Bose or something super, super incredible, but it's good enough. Like I'm not a technology wizard, so I don't really care. I just care that I can get it loud enough and that the sound quality is good enough that I'm not just like, this is terrible. This also has capabilities to talk on the phone with people on your headphones. And it comes with this cute little case. It comes with a couple extra of the little earbuds. And then it also does come with a charger that can connect it to any USB. I feel like the charge is really good on these. I can definitely go a couple of uses without having to recharge them. So I've really been enjoying these. And guess what? They haven't broken. Highly recommend if you're in the market for some wireless over the ear headphones and they don't slip when I'm working out either. On the theme of electronics, 
I have this little Anchor Core charger. It didn't come with the iPhone cable. I just keep that in there because I use it to charge my iPhone. But it does come with a charging cord with a USB charge. And then this is going to charge your phone for several more uses. I think this one has like three charges in it. All the details will obviously be on Amazon, but it comes with this cute little case and I just wrap it up with an extra iPhone cord that I have. And I make sure this is charged, especially before I go on trips. Or like I mentioned, I live in the city. I do a lot of commuting for my job. So sometimes there's just not a power outlet available and this is most convenient if I'm on the train and my phone is about to die because I forgot to charge it. So this I keep with me. It's really compact. It's not super heavy. I really, really like having a little external power charger with me. Okay, so this is one that obviously I'm not using right at this moment because I'm trying to figure out how to actually use my DSLR camera and not my iPhone to film videos. This is a tiny little external mic that I use. It's Well, it's a lapel mic if we're being technical that I would use and I'd plug it into my iPhone when I was filming videos on my iPhone. So it comes with a standard plug and then I take the little toggle that comes because Apple keeps changing crap and it plugs in perfectly to that little power jack on my iPhone and it allows me to record really great audio. I notice a huge difference when I use this when I film videos versus when I don't. The one thing I will say about this is like this is not something that you would use if you were going to be on a FaceTime call or a video conference. It's not something that you can use and also hear audio back. So it's really only something to invest in if you're going to film a video and you want really great audio on your iPhone. This little guy is great if you are a camera user and you can take any type of memory card and put it in here and then it connects right in to your iPhone and you can upload anything from your memory card for your camera onto your iPhone. So I edit all of my videos on my iPhone and this is obviously one of the first videos that I'm filming on a real camera because like <laughs> technology. So we're still trying to figure that out. This is amazing though if you really just want some nice photographs from a good camera but you have all your editing in different apps on your iPhone or just anything you want to move from a camera to a phone, this is amazing. So don't hate me, I understand that this is something that a lot of people have talked about before on some of their Amazon favorites or their beauty favorites, a lot of really extra people who I would definitely consider myself a pretty extra person. So this is really great for setting my makeup spray, like my setting spray at the end. But even more so than that, I find that again, living in the city and taking public transit a lot of places, this is the perfect fan to take on the train with me whenever I can get back on the train, that is. It's great, it can fold in half just like this and be really, really compact for storage. It comes with a little USB charger and the charge lasts a really long time. It comes with three different speeds and it's quiet. So I really like that because I bring this on the train with me in the summertime because listen, the last thing I want is to be stuck in a hot, sweaty, sardine packed train and feel like I'm dripping sweat through all my clothes and then show up to work and look like a mess. So this has really helped me for public transportation uses, but you could also just take this to the beach with you or anywhere that's going to be a little bit hotter and you just need a little personal moment. And it comes in a bunch of fun colors too, so love these. This brush. If you are somebody who likes to flat iron your hair a lot, this is something that you need in your kit. It is this little slat right here that the comb bristles go through. And what that does is it creates a lot of tension on your hair as you're flat ironing it. So without having a flat iron on me right now, you would put your hair right through the area 
put it down it creates a lot of tension and then you just pull it through and you can see it creates a nice smooth tension so you can follow that with your flat iron and not only will it help you get your hair straighter smoother faster but it's heat proof so it's not gonna melt all of these little bristles but I would recommend obviously to put this first and then do your flat iron not the other way around. It also allows you to get a lot of tension really close to the roots of your hair and pull those really tight so that you can get that flat iron as close to the roots as possible if you struggle with texture that gets near your scalp. This next one is my favorite face mask. This comes in a box of 10. Now I didn't find this on Amazon originally. I actually have a problem, a uh, surprise. I found this at, I believe it was Nordstrom Rack, and I used to go there and just in the checkout, they would have all of these different face masks lined up, and I would just choose the ones that sounded the most interesting because I really like face masks. And I found these one day, and I was obsessed with it when I used it. And I went back and it was gone. There were no more of them. And I had fortunately taken a picture of this because I had liked it so much that I was able to track them down on Amazon. This one's a little unique because it comes with three different sections. So there is a section for step one that is a serum that you put all over your face. Then you do the sheet mask and then it comes with what it calls an eye cream. But if we're being real, like there's enough cream in there to put all over your entire face and your neck. I tried this when I was flying, um, not on the plane, but I had a layover and I went into the bathroom like I always do on a layover and put on a face mask. Even by the time the next leg of my flight was done, my skin felt so moisturized and smooth even after hours in the air. I just, I can't go back after this. It's so freaking good. I recommend this one to everybody and I'm gonna link the exact ones below, but I really, really like this. And this brand also has other masks. Not all of them are three-step masks and I've tried one or two of them um, and they're also really good, but this one is definitely my favorite. This moisturizer I use all of the time. This is something that I will bring with me whenever I'm doing a wedding. Uh, it's an amazing, rich, creamy moisturizer, but it's not too heavy. I definitely feel like putting this on any type of drier skin is perfection. And even honestly on oily skin, using a tiny, tiny bit is still fine. It's not gonna make it super oily. It makes it just a beautiful base to put your makeup on. I myself have combination oily, still use it, still love it. I just stick it more in those months when my skin needs a little extra love. All right, I've mentioned these before. If you've seen my empties video, you will recognize these Intrinsics little silken wipes. I won't go too in depth. You can go watch that video if you want to see how much I love them again, but it's basically these little wipes that you use in place of cotton rounds. They're super cheap, really, really affordable, and, well, if I can open this, uh, <laughs> And they're pretty large. So I would use this for my eye makeup remover or my toner at the end of the night. And it's great because you don't get any of those little hairs that come up on cotton rounds. It soaks up all the product and you can use multiple sides and keep flipping them over to get a new clean section that's still saturated with product. So a, your product, I feel like, goes a way longer way when using these over cotton rounds. I'm sure you guys have all heard of reusable items before, but these are my favorite size little stashers. And these are silicone little, almost like a replacement for a Ziploc bag. And I use these for little snacks. Again, like I mentioned, I live in a city. I take public transit everywhere. And I don't always have a lot of room <laughs> to put things in my bag for snacks or whatever. And if I want something a little healthier, like almonds, I will put them in a small container like this because it can really easily fit into a coat pocket or it can fit into a backpack into a small compartment and it seals up really nicely. It's perfect for dry goods and I just really love these. I mean, I like them in all sizes, but I think it's the snack size is my most used size. So next up is something that I'm wearing. It is my extensions. I've already done a full video 
on these extensions so you can go there I will link it below and you can take a look at my entire review on them I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about them but they're the Lovrio halo hair extensions these ones are not a perfect match for my hair but they will be once I get out of quarantine and have a chance to both color my hair a little bit and the extensions to match uh, but they're human hair they're really good quality these are 20 inch long i have the shade eight and they come in a couple different shade ranges i find a lot of the colors to be really natural hair color friendly they i think they have the best natural redhead extensions i've seen on any site quite frankly so i'm a really big fan of these they're super easy to put in i can put them in in like 30 seconds flat and it's just really great if you have thinner hair like I do and you want to feel a little bit more glamorous on some days or you just want to be able to do those things that the care people do. So again, that video is going to be linked down below. You can go take a look at my entire thoughts on it there if you really want, but obviously I will link the extensions in this video as well. Next up is something I can't really show you because I'm currently filming on it, but it's this little tripod stand that has an adjustable height and you can hook it up to not only the attachment for a DSLR camera, but it comes with a little mini ring light and it also comes with this little phone attacher so you can expand it put your phone in close it up you can rotate it and you can do it from either side. It attaches right onto the tripod. I use this a lot right now from home if I'm doing, obviously filming like this, but I also use it if I'm FaceTiming and I'm trying to do something else or if I just don't wanna hold my phone. So this is really great if you're having any work calls on your phone and you need to be at your computer. Um, this is really, really great for that. And it's just a really freaking good little tripod. All right, you guys, I think that's it. Obviously, this was my first Amazon favorites video. These are not things that I have purchased in the past week and just reviewed. Well, I mean, the extensions I didn't get that long ago, but still. I've been using these things for quite a while. They're things that I really, really enjoy and genuinely get a lot of use out of for my lifestyle. But I do want to reiterate, go make an Amazon list of all the things that you want. And if you see anything that you like, click on a link below and save it to your list. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned about some new products that maybe could really help you out. You never know. If you like this style of video, go ahead, give this a thumbs up so that I know, or go ahead and leave a comment below with some of your favorite things you get on Amazon because like I'm always adding to my list. You saw how long it was. And I would love to know some of the things that you guys have really been utilizing, especially during this quarantine period, that has just made the days a little bit easier because I think that we could all use those things right now. If you're not already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Molly Leahy, HMU. And as always, you guys, stay healthy, stay safe, stay positive, and stay inside. Love you guys. Bye.